Hello everybody, it's Phil Beck with The Professional Painter and Decorator. I'm trying to do a quick video today, uh, quite a simple one, well simple if you know it. Radiator paintings, one of the questions that gets asked quite a lot, how do you paint a radiator? There's various styles of different radiators, today I've got a quite straightforward one, it's just a single panel radiator, I don't know if you can see it very well, uh, single panel and there's just the, listen, it's the heat shrink fan things at the back, you know, the, um, oh, I don't know what you call them, like, fins, those fins at the back that distribute the heat better. Now, painting a radiator, I wanted to, in this flat project that we're doing, um, I've been using a bit of anthracite, and if you're watching the flat renovation products, pro, oh, can't even say, well, it's probably the paint fumes got to me, water-based paint fumes. Um, if you've been watching the flat renovation project, you'll see that I've been using a bit of anthracite. Now, in this bathroom, I'm going to try the radiator in anthracite. Now, my plan is I'm going to do all the radiators in anthracite, or I might do them in white. I'm going to see in this bathroom, because eventually, probably this one will get changed. But this will be a good demo brad for me. Now, normally, if anybody says to me, do you paint radiators? If they're powder coated like this as a factory finish, I'd probably say, no, don't, leave them as they are. If they're good condition, leave them as they are. But if they are starting to flake or peel, or they've discoloured because people have been putting things over the top and it's just, you know, stained it, marked it with something, it's, it's beneficial to probably paint them and make them look nice again. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, because we're going to try it, because I like trying products out. We're using, once again, Bedeck MSP in the anthracite. Now, I don't know whether this is a RAL 7016 anthracite colour, but I'm quite happy with that. You can see that dark greyish colour on the back um, that I've got. Ooh, somebody's flushed the toilet. It's all live, it's all been done live. So we're using the MSP mainly because on the side, it goes over most surfaces. It just say radiators. So it'll be interesting to see how they hold up. So I'm gonna do other radiators um, in MSP anthracite, but I wanna show you how you paint one with a brush. Now, first things first, if you have got any flaky areas, there's a little bit just down at the bottom, give them a sand down, dust off, the MSP will go over that, as long as it's not too bad, you don't need any, um, I don't know, metal primer or anything like that. But this, I've sanded down, I've just had a, a Gold Flex Merca pad, this is a 150. I've gone over the top, I've gone down the actual corrugation, I've gone round everything and I've dusted it off with a duster brush. So I've already done that. Now if it's dirty because there's splashes of things on it that, if you're in a bathroom there might be, I don't know, soapy residue. Or if it's in a utility room where a dog or a cat's been and it's got dirt where people have touched it. Get some warm um, warm water with a little bit of washing up liquid in it and just wipe them down if you feel that they, they need a, a wash down properly. But, right, let's talk about how you do a radiator. Now, if I can actually get this right, you might not see me. Can you just see where that little bit of rust is just there? It's nothing major. It's not leaking. Right, the principles of painting a radiator. Might be self-explanatory. Might not be. I've got my paint out. Right. I won't do it until I'm actually doing it. That's an oxymoron, isn't it? Right, you've got the fins just at the back. Can you hear that? Now, I might not be able to get a brush down on that side to paint that fin. Now, that fin does need painting because that's what people will see. That side there, I'll be able to paint it. And when I move the camera around, you'll see what I mean. Oh, I'll tell you what, I'll do it now. Get you in close to Yes, I think you can. There's, a, there's actually a fin just there that will want painting. Now, while I've got you like this, very awkward holding the camera. This seamed rivet edge there, you do the face, but also if you can just get that inner edge there painted, you're a pro. You're a pro. Do that as well. Right, I'll move away because I can't hold the camera and do that. So, we've got that fin to paint, we've got that little return edge there if we can, which is the weld joint of joining it up, which corresponds with the front. I don't know if you can see. It's, there you go, let's see if we can get you in. It's 
it's this bit but on the back there if you can get a brush into that brilliant if you can't do what you can so that's that right and also the little bit of an awkward one is where you've got your valves there'll be like a a ball knuckle where the water goes in now you might want a little a brush just to paint around those and just get them neat I've got an inch and a half brush I'm using at the moment these Hamilton um, ones from tool station I'm doing the anthracite on the white because you'll be able to see the process of doing it so shall I get started because I need to do that edge that edge and then when I come to start painting I'll talk you through start at the top try and get around all of that bring these sides in all the way around the bottom and then back up and then we do these corrugations and we finish off brushing the top and the bottom it's not hard is it or is it right let's see so I'm going to set the camera on to show you what I can do Right, I've got a paint kettle, it's an old uh, Ticarilla Presto F bucket. I've got a small amount of paint in there because I don't need loads. And I'm working from one side of the kettle. I've said before, stop everybody's double tapping. Just work from one side of the kettle. You rotate your brush ever so quick in your fingers all off one side of the kettle. Yeah. Oh, love me getting on to you. Right, so I've just got a small amount. I've just picked up a small amount of paint on the brush. And there it is, right, I'm doing this thin at the back. Now do it neatly that you're not getting loads of runs when you catch it at the bottom because it's a sharp edge. So I'm gonna go down it, across the top, get to the bottom, go across it and then back up. Now this obviously won't cover for one. It won't cover for one because, can you see that? So I've painted that, it won't cover for one because it's a light colour with a dark. That's the first bit. Right, let's see if we can hold you there. My next bit, I want to try and paint that edge, just that little edge return. I'm just going down it carefully with the, this is an inch and a half, so just use part of the bristles just to catch it. And we're working our way down now to where that knuckle is. Now if you feel more confident putting a bit of tape around that valve, do so. But I'm a professional so I don't use tape. Right, I've done that little edge there. All the way down. Right, I'm coming to that knuckle. Oh, pointing to it. I'm doing that knuckle now. I call it a knuckle, it's not a knuckle, it's where the main valve is. Right. And I'm just going to get my brush as far in and as much of the area as I possibly can. Try not to catch, well, I'm doing it, I'm doing well. Try not to catch the main valve. And I'm just using the tips of the bristles, the tips of the bristles just to neatly cut round where the, the threads are of when they screw that valve in. And I'm coming round nicely and neatly. I've nearly done it. Try and get a little bit of below. That looks lovely. I'm going to get you in to see that. Let's try and get you. Right. Can you see that there? Yeah. Let's see if you can focus on my finger just there. Can we see it? Can see it there and then all I've done is just get the brush in around that and then very difficult holding this and that is that edge there oh look you can see where I've just missed a bit let's see if I can get there you go that's what you've got to do you've just got to work your way across it to catch that edge there and get it on your next second coat right, so draw it all the way up that's it so I've got that right so I'll show you again I've done that edge there can you see 
that back edge there and I've done that fin. Yeah, camera's on its own way round. Right, now I've got to do that little bit of a knuckle the other side, so I'll bring you around there and show you what I'm doing there. Then we'll get down to the nitty gritty of actually painting the radiator. So bear with me while I'm doing this little bit of a knuckle. Do the same thing again, getting in as far as I possibly can. There's enough paint on the brush and I'm just neatly, I'll call it dib dabbing it on. I'm not putting too much on, dib dabbing it on. I'm going round best I possibly can. Yeah, we've got it. Right, and if I can try and get a brush full up that fin there, I will do. Yes, I can. I'm going all the way up on that inner fin. We're good on that. Lovely. And let's just see if we can do that other bit of an edge. Might be struggling a bit. Oh, just catching a little bit of it. It's just in case anybody sees it. It looks painted. Right, so we've done that, we're doing well. Right, next thing, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go across that top, because we've dusted it down. I'm just gonna get a little bit of paint on the brush, and I'm just gonna wrap it slightly round the back, like that, you see what I'm doing? And then starting to bring it over the top, and then down slightly. Just lay it off. Right. You get the idea? Yeah. I'm not ready to have my own cameraman yet. I could do with it. So make sure you've just gone round. The next one, these edges where the seal is, just go round all of those. Make sure they're all catched. Now, this is water-based paint, so it's quick drying, and we'll be able to get a couple of coats on quite quickly, going all the way around the bottom. If it's oil-based, you'd have to wait, because you'd be doing one one day and one the next. So, just going around all these sides now. Different radiators have different styles and patterns, but, but really, the principle's exactly the same. So we've gone around all those edges. We're keeping a wet edge, that's not dried off too quick. It's still wet. And now I'm bringing in these corrugation shapes. Well, start in there, scrub them into those crevices. Like that. That's one, lay off with the tips of the bristles. I'm gonna bring a couple of across at once. Or I might bring three or four, and then I'll show you. I mean, Three or four of those, there's two, three. You don't have to worry about being too neat with this straight away. You just want to get it on, lay off. I'll bring four, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring in those other little bits. Doesn't matter if your bristles catch what you've done in the middle. Lay off with the tips. Right, I brought four across. Now what I want to do, because if this was a bigger radiator, it would be drying off on you. Take it that this is a big radiator, and I'm showing what I'm doing. I'm going to start bringing these bottoms or top, no matter which one you do first, like that. Lay them back off into itself, and then just with the tips, just finish off straight across. 
make an imaginary line at the top of those well recesses right I've done half of it I'm going to do the same again bring a few across at a time do it how you feel comfortable I'll bring those in with the two laying off while I'm here let's bring that across with it let's just finish these off now Once you get skilled at brushwork, you'll be able to work really quickly and you'll find your own way of doing it. But the principle is the same, keep a wet edge going. You see I'm doing it slightly different to what I've shown you because I know where my brush needs to go. I know how my paint's drying, I'm just laying off those now. And just bring that bottom across and the top. You could bring the top across first or the bottom, it doesn't really matter on that. So there we have painting a radiator. I'm going to go away and then I'll come back, give it another coat and show you when it's um, fully dried. So any questions, ask, but we're nearly there, aren't we? Then I'll show you at the end. There we have it everybody, that's the second coat gone on, you saw it fast forwarded through me applying the second coat, first coat dried nicely, it's got a lovely sheen to it, the, I've said before in previous videos, that actual soft satin on Bedex, actually a really nice finish, soft matte, I find it a little bit flat, circumstances might want a flat matte finish but this has gone on lovely and as you can see, it actually looks quite effective, doesn't it, being in that anthracite. Um, see what it's like when it dries. Let's put it this way. If it needs another, because I can just see a little bit of grinning. Grinning meaning the white still showing through. If it just needs another coat, I'll give it another coat, but I won't bore you and subject you through that. Subject you through that again. But on the whole, I've shown you how to paint a radiator. If there's any questions, ask. I know somebody's going to shout at me and say, use a bigger brush or use a roller. I'm not doing that. I just want to show somebody the principles of doing the top edge, doing what you can see visually on the sides, the fins across the top. Don't try and paint because what will happen, you'll just get loads of nasty runs coming off them. They are what they are. And um, I've shown you how to do it coming across the um, corrugation and then just finishing off, laying off the little bits at the top horizontally. Now, if this was a double radiator, the second rad at the back, you do, because you probably just see that stretch there at the back, neatly paint that down to a level line. Don't try and go further than what you can because that can actually look worse than trying to paint the whole lot. But again, you might with a double rate double oh, I can't even say that double radiator have two sets of heat fins that are visible that you need to paint again carefully paint those and if it has got a bit of a shape to it that you can think I can just paint that inner edge to the fins do it use your common sense on that use your common sense to think what will look best what you don't want to do is having paint on a radiator that you can't get a brush into but paint's touched it and it looks and it can look a pig's ear but I think I've shown you how to do it. Any questions, just ask. And um, not a bad drop, that. Radiator paint. Yeah, we'll call it a radiator paint. 